Hello everyone, today on the channel, it's our last try of Nyan Dynasty. Nyan Arcade. So we made a quick Rakto Singleton because we don't want to play the previous deck that we played to get 4 wins before. Uh, can't say it was too easy, but that deck is too powerful, the Gorgari deck. And we tried a mono red deck, and we just got rocked. We got really, really rocked. So instead of that, we have decided to make a Raktos deck. And hopefully this Raktos deck does much better. If we can draw mountains, I guess we get the treasure token, but... But we want to draw mountains too. Because we want her out ASAP. Fortunately, we got two black instead of her. If we do draw another land, we get this guy out. Which needs to get killed. If he doesn't get killed, he's gonna win. Come on, third land. No. Okay, so we have to get this guy down. So we get a treasure back. We also get to draw a card. Hopefully it's a land. No third land. Wow, okay, play this as a land, but... I mean, we get to cast this guy next turn and get a treasure back. But it <laughs> just totally sucks. To not have any red, and the fact that we just... Banna screw. That totally sucks. We should have had four lands by now, because we went first. And of course they get wedding announcement. The thing is they need removal for this guy because this guy is too good. Nope. No land at all. I mean why get lands? Why get lands when you can just try to win mana squad? First game that we play in this event and we have to get mana squad. So they need to have removal for him. Fortunately, we can't attack with this guy because reasons. Of course, the opponent always gets wedding announcement out third turn. So unfortunately, we have to top deck a land ASAP because we're running out of ways to make these tokens. And if we don't top deck a land ASAP, we're gonna be in a world of hurt. We might have to use the token to make red for Magda and then hopefully she doesn't die and then we can attack with her but it's just I mean opponent already got all their colors out perfect lands too we do have we don't have the campus but we do have a couple of these dual lands and they got six mana so what are they gonna do what are they going to do they got double the mana that we have basically Sure. I mean, we are getting mana screwed to hell and back. Okay, that's... That's a land. That is a land. We want him? No, I think we need more lands. Not hurting for creatures right now. It's our best bet to do some damage. Nope. Oh, we didn't even put this in our deck. Of course the opponent has answered. This, this is the reason why we always hate playing, playing this type of events. Like, we got the worst luck ever. We got color screwed, not mana screwed, but we got color screwed. Kind of mana screwed because it's not a land. We got color screwed and opponent just gets all their stuff out. Perfectly. Perfecto mundo. So they discard two useless cards. This is only one snow, so he can't bring anything back. And yeah, we were supposed to be kind of a little bit aggro. But it doesn't work. 
We get five, six, that's not even enough for Valky. And of course they get Kai out because of course opponent gets Kai out. It's one of those days when we try to make videos for the channel and like nothing works. Literally nothing works. We got the worst luck in it doesn't matter what we play, constructed, what type of event, whatever we play, we get the worst luck. Sure. Oh now we draw the land. Can blow on the snow, but two does not return. Oh, it does return this guy. So, we have to kill the planeswalker actually. We have to return the planeswalker more than we have to return, I mean more than we have to kill these creatures. We do get this guy back. So next turn, hopefully we can top deck another land that comes into play untapped and then we can get Valky out and plus Valky. Hopefully, the opponent doesn't do any shenanigans. I mean, they only have one card in hand plus one foretold. Hopefully, they draw lands. Okay, they drew a land. But of course, the one card they have in hand has to be the Dreadfish Demon, which they can suck this and make more demons. So, do we even have another board wipe? Is this, does this get any more perfect? Like, honestly. We have 5, 6, we don't have enough for this guy. Does this get any more perfect for the opponent? This is what we want to ask. I don't think so. I don't think they can get a more perfect hand. I mean, we could have cast... We board wipe last time, we couldn't even cast Valky, so... Yeah, this is basically game over. Unfortunately, we have to start this event and then this happens. The mana screw was bad. We should have played this in our deck. The fact that they got Dreadfish Demon and then they just make another one. Can we even top deck another board wipe? I'm not even sure we have another board wipe. How lucky! Like, this is incredibly lucky. Of all the cards they could have drawn, they had to have this in their hand. And love. So yeah, basically we need another board wipe, which we don't have. And of course they got this first, and then the demon, because if they cast the demon with no other creatures, it wouldn't do much. Oh, they activate both of them. Yeah. Well, this does no board wipe. Yeah, it does, that does absolutely nothing. So we lose to four Dreadfish Demons, which we actually didn't put in our deck. We should have put in our deck too. We kind of forgot. But that's not the point. I guess board wiping for Kaya was a huge mistake. Should have waited for them to get a Dreadfish Demon. Okay, we're just going to concede because they're wasting our time now. Like you just attack with them. We tapped out and we have no blockers. Okay, so that was uh, bad. I mean, in this event, you can only get one loss. I think after the second loss, you're out. Yeah. So that was unfortunate, to say the least. We had to play our, our Hagra Mauling as a land. That was our other remover. We could have killed a Dreadfish Demon before he got to suck at the end of turn. But we couldn't because he had to play our Mauling as a land. And also, I think we jumped the gun with the killing Kaya, but... I mean, chances are they might have not cast the Demon anyway. Even if we didn't kill Kaya, or they just put a counter on it and then when we kill it, it comes back to their hand. I think that was their plan. Get Kai out first and then get the demon out. But, I mean, it doesn't change the fact that we can't do anything. If we're getting mana screwed of lands and color screwed at the same time, it's game over. I mean, you gotta have luck in magic. As much as people don't want to accept that and they think it's all skill, uh, you gotta be skilled in magic. You gotta have some skills, that's what you gotta have. 
No, you don't have to have skills, you have to have luck. Unless you're playing some kind of deck that has absolutely no chance of winning. You basically have to have luck. Without luck, you're not going to win, doesn't matter how skillful you may or may not be. So I mean, we get this guy down first, we don't really need to get him because there's nothing to exile. We need to get him down so he can draw an extra card. What is this mono green? Uh, I think we need the black for this. Yeah, obviously we need black more than we need red. We have two red already. Yes, we would like to draw an extra card. Okay, good. So that means we are in Invoke Despair territory next turn, if we want to jump suddenly to 5, which I think we might. Because it gets rid of one of their creatures and of the enchantment. Uh, yeah, let's go for this. I mean, we skip the 4 mana, but that's fine. We still get one of these back. Which means next turn, if we play Takenuma, we can attack with Inferno. Yeah, of course she comes. Not on the second turn, but of course she comes on 15th turn. We have a lot of 2-drops, because like, we really don't want to miss a 2-drop, even though we keep missing a 2-drop. We play this guy on the third turn. Okay, what happened? They have a lot of mana for something big. Yep, of course, of course opponent always has the card, so now we can't even play Inferno. Or can we? Oh, this is only a 4-4. Four, four. Okay, maybe we can play Inferno. We could also bail for Mastery the Ren. But I think killing it with Inferno would be better. I have to play this, get her down, get another token. They have two green mana. I guess they can have three green, but I don't think they can do anything as an instant to protect her from attack damage. They have to just block with the token. I guess they could pump the token, but I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. We drew these guys again, and we're supposed to play them like second turn, not six or seven turn. Why do we keep drawing this? It's really, really depressing. Okay, take her out. Because the token we can take out with this. Any more bombs? They have to cast something that's six mana. Which they could. They need something that's 6 mana to get another treasure. But I mean, they already have 7 mana. Yep, that's 6 mana. Of course they can. Yep. But we can't kill her. We're gonna have to bail for mastery the stupid token. No, don't fight, don't fight the Inferno. Uh, get more black, I guess. We definitely have to exile the token. Please don't have hexproof. Yes. Okay, and we have to hit them in the air.
And I think we'll try to get Goro Goro out. Because next turn we can cast Junji and give Junji haste with Goro Goro. And that will attack them for 11. If we top the Kalan, we can also pump the Inferno, so that could be game. If they don't have Flyer, or if they don't have some removal, or if they don't do something crazy. These these two guys attack them for 11. If we top deck another land, doesn't matter what land, as long as it doesn't come into play tapped, we can give, we can pump this up so we can hit them for 12. Fortunately, one of these things is going to get rich. Wait, both of them get rich? Are you just kidding us right now? Like, that was our win. Wow, okay, and we top deck the land too. That was going to be our win. Yeah, I think we still have to do the same thing. Yeah, we don't have a choice. Of course, the opponent always has the perfect card. Like, it's unbelievable. We had, we're had one turn away from winning, and they cast two creatures with reach. One turn away from winning. What can we return? We can't return anything. So they're gonna lose two life and discard those two cards. But the problem is they're still gonna have two creatures who reach. Wait, we get to kill this for free? What? We get to kill one of them. And they go down to three. They still have this guy. So we need to top deck a removal spell to kill this and then we can attack. Sure. Also, this makes them lose one life, but that's not enough. We have to kill this token. Oh, this thing can kill them. Yeah, this thing can kill them because if they block it, they're gonna lose. Uh, they're gonna lose life. So they have to kill this, but not during combat step. I mean, that's why we have this in the deck. So we gotta exile one of their creatures so they go down to two life. Uh, yeah, exile this. And we can't attack with the Inferno. But next time we can attack with this. And even if they gain one life, if they cast a creature to gain one life, actually even if they fight this, they still die. So please, no more shenanigans. Yes, Ill Temper Loner for the win. That's why it's in the deck. That was absolutely ridiculous. That was ridiculous. I don't know why they double blocked. They just lost the creature for no reason. They should just block with a 6 7. So Junji did his job. I mean, we were going to win that turn. All they had to do is just not cast Reach, like not have a Reach creature. How difficult and grindy was that game? Also, the fact that people play mono green in this format is just astounding. Because as mono, as good as mono green is in standard and maybe alchemy, that's a, you know, that's a normal deck, four of four of each card. That's that's how the deck works. That's why it's so good. Playing mono green in singleton means you have to get 
very lucky at drawing, you know, very big creatures very fast because there's not a lot of removal in mono green, especially in singleton. So we're not even gonna lie, it's they have to aggro people as fast as possible. They have to aggro that. Just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Where is our next opponent? I mean, good for them if they can make mono green work. We try mono red and it didn't work at all. This does not look like a good hand. This looks like a better hand. Not by much, but I think we're just gonna have to play this as a land again. I mean, we already got mana screwed first game. We don't really want to do it again second game. What is this mono red? We played our mono red deck. It didn't do so well. Did not do so well. That's why we're playing this deck. Well, you got your third land out. I mean, the problem with mono red is if you face mono green, which has much bigger creatures, or if you face, um, what is it called, mono white with life game, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, or if you do that stuff, like that's the best thing you can do. We're just gonna cast this guy instead of Hidetsugu because we wanna get more things and we wanna draw more cards. It's only draw card. That's not a bad card. There's no point in hurrying up with this guy. I think maybe we make them discard. Hopefully we top deck a fourth land for the love of all that is holy. And then maybe we make them discard two cards, although we can't really attack. We're just not drawing the correct cards in this deck at the correct time. It's just not happening for some reason. What? Okay, so we're just gonna make them discard. Because if they don't have card draw, which I guess red does have some card draw. We also didn't draw our fourth land again. We do have 24 lands in this deck. So not sure if we want to jump. I guess it's better to just cast this for four mana next turn instead of Juji. Because that would be jumping. Wait, they're not mono red. They're not mono red. They're EZ. But they don't have... Because they only have one blue. Oh, they got their blue now. Okay, so... Again, opponent gets the... <laughs> That's just... Okay, we're gonna have to play this for four. We get the back because we're not drawing lands. We are not drawing lands. Pass the turn. I guess we can make three treasure tokens with this guy when he dies, if he dies. Can we not get mana screwed for the second loss for the love of all that is holy? Uh, I guess we just attack first and then we cast Juji. I mean, they could have another counter spell now that they have their blue mana. But we do have blood on the snow and this guy to get him back. 
so we're not gonna lie. We have to try it. Yeah, they're playing EZ. EZ control or counters or something. No idea what. Playing something. They don't counter it, they might have a board wipe. Which is kind of scary. At the same time, if we top deck a fifth land, we can try to go for T-Bot. Which can kind of take control of the game. If they don't get rid of it immediately. They, they are playing some kind of burn control deck. Obviously. But... Hopefully they don't have a removal here. Like burn down the house. I'm not sure what else they can cast for 5 mana. But at the same time if they do, we can get more treasure with this guy. And also they lose 2 cards. And they lose 2 life because of this guy. And then next time we can cast this and bring Junji back. So... We got that going for us. They are obviously... Not happy with whatever cards, but I mean, they have four cards in their hand, plus one for tall car. Which we're gonna guess is not a counter spell. If it was, they would have countered this. Not sure. Wow, okay. So they're gonna take. Might as well attack with the Blood Mage too. No point in holding back. They're gonna take a lot, and we can go for T-Balt. If he gets counter, he gets counter. But then we're left with only 5 mana. So we can't cast this or this. Might be easier to just cast this guy. Wow. Okay. I uh, just cast this dude. At least they have mana to suck this guy and scry too, often. So this opponent is waiting to do big things. Not sure what those big things are, but... Uh, one land will take, we don't need two lands, but we need one land just to cast Valky or to cast Plot on the Snow or something. Yeah, okay, two damage to everything. So, you have Blood on the Snow next, because Blood on the Snow will kill their guy too. I mean, he kills our stuff, but that doesn't really matter. If we get to cast Valky and they don't counter it, it's gonna be pretty much game over. Oh, they get to exile these things? That would suck, because she can't bring them back. What is taking so long? Just cast... What? That's not a board wipe. What, they wanted... So we're gonna suck creatures because we don't want the guy to get exile. Oh, he does get exile anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll just let this go. Because we get the mana to cast Valky. I think they're pretty much tapped out. So they can have their thing. Valky, go do your job. Well, we got their Inferno. Okay. 
So they better scry something good because this guy can't be countered and we can actually attack them for 7 next turn. And that could be game over unless they have a bounce or something. That's what they were trying to do. They are trying to cast this and this at the same time. But this was only 1 mana and this was 5 so that's 6. I think they already had 6. Not sure why they had to cast this. And tap. They're just overthinking stuff. But now we got their Inferno. So we got an active Valky and Inferno. And technically we have Den of the Bugbear too. That can actually do the final damage. But I think casting Inferno and attacking them for 7 next turn might be just sweeter. Unless they have a bounce spell, they could have divide by 0 or something crazy like that. It's your own card. Because the Soul Shatter is our card. Okay. Attack. Good games. Good games. Wow, Valky came down. Valky came down with the special touch. This is more how the deck is supposed to play, even though we missed our second drop again. Even though we have three or four two drop cards in the deck. I think we might have four. We missed our second drop again. Oh. Annoying to say the least. Can we get ourselves three lands? Yeah, but opponent also goes first. But we do have a two drop and a three drop and a four drop. And three lands. And mid hook. So we cannot complain, actually. We're gonna have to go Goro Goro. This opponent, of course, goes faster than us, which they could. But next time we can Goro Goro and then this guy. And hopefully we top deck a fourth land for him. What is this? Mono red. Okay. Go Goro Goro. Although you might get killed. But we still get to ramp. Although ramping into loft does not seem like such an amazing idea. Uh, do we want to give him haste? No. Is he gonna die? Probably. Yep, of course opponent has frostbite for one mana ramp. Of course they do. If this is mono red, again, we should do well against mono red. Should, it just depends how crazy their hand is. And of course they get town razor. Of course they do, because why would they not get town razor? Why would they not? Just gonna continue to ramp. Uh, I don't think we can attack. Gonna have to take two damage. Yeah, because we need to ramp. No, 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 no. Wait, what? No, we wanted to take the damage. Yeah, at least we can cast this guy for 4. And get an extra thing. Okay, this is not the worst thing that could have happened to us. We need to ramp into midhook ASAP. So, casting for 4. Fortunately, we have to use 1. And then but we get another one. We need to top the column because we need to midhook for 4. We need to me hook for four. Uh, attack her. If we me hook for four, we can blow up everything and then we can recast stuff. If not, we could cast. There's nothing to bring back. If we top the Kalan, we can cast Inferno and attack the face. Or a lot. If. Because we lost one land. So hopefully we top deck a land. Hopefully. 
If not, we have to meet hook for four, but that doesn't do much. Ah, uh, we screwed that one up. We're supposed to take the two damage. Yeah, she's very annoying. Come on, land, so we can inferno. And actually, if they attack us, we can inferno and kill her for sure, and then this can go to the face. We need a fourth land ASAP. Well, fifth land, because we sucked one. We could also try to cast Loth and get back one treasure, make two spiders. That's not the worst plan, I guess, but that will... Yeah, we need to top the land. What? E okay. Yeah, that's fair, I mean, sure. They'll use two creatures to spell. Yes! Okay, so... What is the best? We massacre for four. That's not good. Uh, I think we're just gonna do this. And... Yeah. It's gonna take him out. He's gonna take him out. Yeah, we can take four from the flying thing. Because next time we can cast Loth and get blockers. And we can also, if we top the column, we can massacre for four. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, okay, that's one damage. At least that's not the one that takes control of our dragon. If they took control of our dragon, we'd be dead. The five mana one. Okay, so they can attack us for a lot, which means we might have to attack and then massacre for four and we gain life. Think we gain life? Or we can cast Loth. Uh, we die to this? No, we don't die to this. I think we have to massacre for four. Wait, we don't have double black. Oh, we have double black. Do we have enough to massacre? Yeah, we have enough to massacre for four. That is really close. But if we massacre for four, they just den off the bugbear and they kill us. So we can't, we need blockers. Is that enough blockers or did we just screw up? I think we should have called one guy back. Yeah, because den of the bugbear makes another guy. Okay, we screwed that up. Oh, we screwed that up so bad. We should have called back the reckless guy. Oh no, they didn't activate the den. Huh? Oh, they just burn us to death? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, they didn't have to do anything, just burn us to death. But they forgot to activate this, which means they couldn't attack with this. They could only attack with this and we could block them. Yeah, I mean, th th there's nothing we could have done there. We were behind them. It's funny that we lose to Mono Red. When we try Mono Red and we got crushed. It's just... Funny. There's nothing we can say about it. I mean, this deck could easily get four wins, but the fact that we got mana screwed first game, we got totally screwed the first game, which was really, 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 really bad. And then the fact that we were behind in mana, I think, like every single game, we were behind in mana, behind the opponent, that was also really terrible. But I mean, it is what it is. So we got two more of these things and I think we're gonna call it a day for this event. So thank you for watching, please click like and subscribe for more daily MTG content videos.